The only picture I took at the flea markets, check out this cool old lady rocking the Legend of Zelda shirt. She's going through dinkies. She's still collecting. Hey guys, welcome back to the game room and this is going to be a straight up pickups video. There's not going to be any footage from the little flea market or the yard sales because they were just really fast trips. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to show you other than the stuff that I picked up. It was pretty sparse. Uh, I went there twice, uh, last Saturday and today, which is Sunday, and there was about 10 tables. Not a whole heck of a lot to look at. I'll show you what I did pick up. But, uh, you know, this is just, like I said, a straight-up uh, pickup video because, as you can start to see, I'm starting to rearrange the game room again so that I can get uh, a little bit more room out of it. I'm watching uh, the Toy Hunter there on YouTube. Uh, straightening out the transformers, the shelves up there, all the boxes. You know, I'm not super happy about putting all of my uh, box Nintendos and N64s and Super Nintendos, Atari, what have you down there. But, you know, I don't want them in the basement. We've got some more boxes up there. And, you know, this again isn't everything. I'm doing this so that I can get into the basement. Like even this, this is two rows deep. Uh, some of my Genesis and Master System games. Uh, you know, it's just trying to get things off the floor and getting as much out of the basement as possible. And, uh, you know, I keep saying it. I sound like a broken record, but I'm really looking forward to it. We're having a uh, video game and toy collectible show in September. So I am getting a lot of stuff ready for that as well i have uh this giant overflowing uh blue bin these bins this uh these baskets are gonna go that box uh minus the hats these two boxes are going to the show and you know it's i still feel like i have a lot more digging to do like these cardboard boxes i still need to get into uh, I gotta put those Blu-rays on a shelf still. All this has to be decluttered. Uh, I have to figure out what's going from this still, but you know, it's a work in progress and I am on summer vacation, so it will be fun and I do need to get to the basement. Hopefully that will be uh, sooner than later. So let's look at all the things that I picked up in the last two weeks. Like I said, regrettably, there's no footage, but you know, you still get to see some cool stuff. I know I still like to watch pickup videos, so hopefully if you're clicking on this, uh, you're going to enjoy it as well. Go through everything individually. We'll start right here with the C64 or the Commodore 64 Mini. It says that it has 64 games on it. And looking at the back, it does have some good games. Like, I obviously remember California games, Boulder Dash, uh, you know, the baseball games, and Jumpman and Jumpman Jr. I've actually already been challenged by a friend to uh, beat his score on Jumpman. So I found this in Walmart. The Walmart next to the Costco has an amazing liquidation section. And this was, no, well, the first time I saw it, it was $99. Then uh, more recently, it's been $75. Even at the EBs, it's about 65 bucks. I found this for $30. And I took a picture of it because I put it on my Instagram and on the Loxness Monster Facebook page. Check that out if you want, both uh, Loxness Monster, pretty easy to find. And uh, I just took a picture just to put it up. When I got to the cash, it still ran up as $75. 
So I stopped the woman and I was like, uh, excuse me, the sticker price is uh, $30 and change. And it even says Commodore 64 on the sticker. It wasn't misplaced. So I show the woman, she does the, you know, um, deductions. And yeah, I got it for $30, $30. Looking forward to playing this when the room is a little more clean. Uh, moving up. I got this for a dollar at a yard sale last week. I found some uh, My Little Pony and uh, Care Bear stuff for my daughter. And underneath everything was the Pokemon Monopoly, the collector's edition. Remember these with all the little figures? You got Charmander, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Clefairy, Blastoise. The only one of them that's evolved. And Mewtwo. So I went through it. I cleaned it up, obviously, because, you know... How it would have looked normally. Everything was thrown all over. But I think all the currencies here, uh, the ones, they got fives underneath. There's a lot of ones. Yeah, there's fives underneath. Ten. There's fifties. And I think there's twenties under here. One hundreds and fifty. I'm guessing they made it like this to fit in this style box. You have both of your instructions, French and English. All of the Pokemon characters are here, which is excellent. All the houses and all the cards and the board looks pretty fine. So again, I picked this up for a dollar. I'm not going to keep this myself. I'm probably going to put this on the table for me to sell. Uh, you know, I'd be happy to get $10 out of it. I'm not going to lie. But if somebody offers me a five, why not? Uh, just today, we went out to the little host flea market we'll start down here sorry about the glare uh i found blood the last vampire the animated movie perfect blue this is it says uh, a startling and powerful film if alfred hitchcock partnered with walt disney they'd make a picture like this and this is by roger corman or at least this quote so this is called perfect blue i know nothing about this movie but I am going to check it out. I'm not a huge anime fan, but when I saw those, they caught my eye. I said, you know what? I'm going to give these a try. Dino Stalker for Capcom. Uh, I didn't do any research on this game yet. So if it's a good one to have picked up, it says that it's a gun con game. Uh, let me know down in the comments. But something, just the title, the graphic of it, and it being by Capcom, something said, let me pick up this PS2 game. I got him for uh, $2. And then the movies picked up a max and ruby for my daughter to fill it out this was three for five at videotron yesterday they were having their summer liquidation sale so everything was 75 percent off so i got a for ps4 shiny and there was a nice glare on it uh i don't know anything about this game but it was two dollars so i said you know what let me give it a try so it says can you rescue the robotic friends before aurora crashes into the sun If you know anything about Shiny, let me know. For $2, Just Sing. Huh? I'm hoping that my daughter will like to play this in uh, any sort of way. It says that it comes with a free app. You play it on your phone or you can use the uh, microphone attachments. And then this is the one that I was happy to get. So 75% off. I got this for $8.99. This is Sega Genesis Classics. Over 50 classic games. I've already beaten the three golden axes, and I think I'm going to be playing the uh, Streets of Rage ones later. It comes with um, online uh, competition for the highest score, you know, old school style. And um, most games will have a challenge, you know, like collect 500 rings before Sonic gets hit, or, you know, like get through two levels without uh, picking up any items for Streets of Rage 2, uh, and then there'll be trophies attached to... Uh, you know, like maybe 15 of the games, but really fun. I've been playing through this the last couple of hours, and I'm enjoying it. I'm up to uh, 33 completed games this year. We'll move over. This is a 1993 Batman Batmobile. I'm guessing this is from the animated series. This has been played with. This has been loved. The stickers are all gone. The headlight stickers, the Batman logo. There's a little bit of uh, rusting in any of the metal parts. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty cool. You know, I do like my Batman stuff. I'm getting all that stuff slowly together. I have uh, one of the Tim Burton Batman uh, 1989 Batmobiles. The uh, newer, I think, eh, the best franchise Batman right there. The uh, Tumbler. And then, uh, you know, I got the giant bat wing back there anyway back to this uh you know it's got uh, a cockpit and the gimmick is that you can pull out i probably won't be able to get it 
Yeah, one hand, I won't be able to get it, but basically it just pops out and it turns into a little bat wing that you can put a single character in. Um, it doesn't have the bomb anchor that it originally came with, but, you know, picked this up for $5. Actually, my father picked this up for $5 for me. So, there you go. That's a pretty good score. Thanks a lot, Pop. Uh, picked up two masks. They were a buck, no, $2 each. Iron Man mask, when the mask opens, it lights up and makes sound. This will definitely go on the table. I spent $2 on it. Uh, I'll probably put a $5 bill on it, a $5 price tag to see what I can get, but I'll take a little bit lower, obviously. This is to get people to the table. Uh, you got another Spider-Man here, Spider-Man sensing. There's a little switch in the mount. You can leave it up or you could put it down, and every time you press it, you'll have a new... Uh, He'll have a new spider phrase. For $5, I picked this up today. This is a uh, CD player and karaoke Frozen style. And it comes with all the accoutrement. All the little extra things. Power source, cables, and the microphone. I picked that up for my daughter because uh, Arkham is two now. And she's starting to get into singing and dancing and all that. So... You know, I bought her that. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. Coming around for $2, this is a General Grievous. The batteries are not in his feet, but his gimmick is he'll have uh, light-up lightsabers, and you can spin the wheel on his back. His lightsabers are touching each other. Remember, guys, I'm doing this one-handed. Anyway, <laughs> you spin the wheel on his back, and his lightsabers will rotate, but, uh, you know... He'll need to be cleaned up a little bit too when he looks like he's very sick. Then we got a uh, Finn. He also has uh, a button action on him and he does have batteries in him. We need cover, quick! So he's pretty, uh, pretty sizable. Not as tall as the Star Trooper up there, but I will put them together. So that's uh, Finn. Uh, I got a bag of G1 stuff. This was picked up last week. This is all the stuff for Computron and uh, my Jetfire. This is a huge upgrade to Jetfire. This is a whole nice, clean, original, well, not original G1. We all know the story where Jetfire came from, but oh, that is good. he's beautiful. So I'm going to leave him like that with his gun only transformed. And I'm going to take all of his uh, armor and I'm going to put that... See my jet fire way down there? That's my original jet fire. He's got no arms. He's going to go back to jet mode and he's going to get all the extras and goodies. Ultra Magnus. Very happy to get this Ultra Magnus. He's missing a hand, but he looks fantastic. Uh, Swerve. Sw I can't even remember his name. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you remember this guy's name. He comes with Scattershot, and this is two pieces that will make Computron. I have all the pieces for Computron in here. I picked up a Ektron 1 from EB's, the EB slash uh, GameStop exclusive. This is the Ghostbusters Transformers tie-in. He looks fantastic, and the Ecto-1 form is even better. Like, I seriously thought about grabbing two of these just so I could have them change next to each other, but... I spent $53 on this. I don't like to spend that much on a toy normally, but I had to have him. But the good thing is I picked up another Grimlock. So I finally decided to put all my Dino Pots, Dino Pots, Dino Bots into Volcanicus, Volcaninus, Volcanicus, the big guy. I don't like that empty chest on him, but I got him up there with all my combiners. So we got this Grimlock, he's going to go back to uh, his dinosaur bot mode, he's going to go on the shelf, but I got him for $9, he was on their uh, liquidation sticker side, and it's just because the box was a little bent up, that's what I'm guessing. So that's uh, everything I picked up, and look at that, we're probably going to get like a 13 or 14 minute video out of just a pickup video. So let me know down in the comments guys, what did you score this weekend or last weekend? Uh, your 4th of July weekend, anything cool, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, and we'll have another Flea Market Adventures video in about a week and a half. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Don't forget to check out some of the other Locks Nest Monster videos, guys. There's pickups, flea market adventures, yard sale scores, and I also check out some obscure toy lines. 
thanks again for watching guys and uh, you know maybe like and subscribe too take care